Hey there, baritones and tubas. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so for this week's video, you are just gonna have me today. Um, Mr. Herman is in the middle of a big painting project right now. So we're gonna let him just finish his project and you'll just have me today. All right, guys, so <clears throat> first thing, like normal, we're gonna start with just our mouthpiece. All right, let's do some good buzzing. Good, let's do some tonguing. Good, make sure your tongue is not, or your chin is not moving too much. Awesome. Cool. Let's go ahead and put our mouthpiece into our instrument. And give it a little twist. Cool, here we go. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I'm still working on that video um, for oiling valves. All right, I will get that up there. I am so sorry that you don't have it yet. <clears throat> okay, so guys, we're gonna start today with a warm up. We will, we did this last week actually too. Um, we will always start with a warm up. Buzzing is part of our warm up. And it doesn't matter if you're in fourth grade or you're a professional musician, it's always best to start with a warm up. All right, and it just helps us to build muscles, helps us to go through fundamentals. Um, it's key to becoming a very successful musician um, is getting learning how to do a good warm up before you play. Don't just open your book and pick a random song and play. So this is what I want you to start doing for your warm up: buzzing first, and then we're gonna start with our low B flat. All right, low B flat, and we're gonna play it with a whole note. All right, and then four quarter notes in a row. Okay, so first thing, play your B flat with me. Ready? And. Good, here we go. Let's play a whole note and then four quarter notes, making sure we're tonguing, separating those notes. Here we go. B flat, two, ready, and. Awesome job. So, I made some note cards here. Um, we're gonna review our notes today because it's really important in reading music to review the notes and rhythms that we're learning. So this right here is called a whole note and a whole note gets four beats. Awesome. And then this is called a quarter note and one quarter note gets one beat, right? One quarter note gets one beat, okay. So. We're gonna play a whole note for four beats and then four quarter notes. Awesome, you already knew that. We were just reviewing. All right, now we've already done the B flat, so let's go to the C. One and three, first and third fingers down. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Baritones, that your baritone is resting right on your lap. We wanna make sure it comes right to your mouth. All right, um, tubas, remember sit on something or um, just have it so that the mouthpiece is going right to your mouth. <clears throat> awesome. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try on our C whole note and then four quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. Great, and now let's go to our D whole note, four quarters. Ready, go. Awesome, nice job. Cool. All right. So that was our warm up. Now we're going to go on to one song of review today. So, can you guys turn in your books to page eight? Page eight, number 1.18. Mary had a cool lamb. And that is what we are going to start out with today. Mary had a cool lamb. I like this song. Hopefully, you like this song. It's just fun to play. All right. I like to do a review song at the beginning just to. Remember what we had worked on from last week. I know you guys have been working on it a bunch, hopefully, and hopefully it's just fun to play through it, right? If you've worked on it a bunch, you'll be able to play straight through it. We don't have to airband it or anything first. So let's start right at the beginning of 1.18. Mary had a cool lamb, making sure we're tonguing every single note. All right, tongue every note. Here we go. Let's try it out from the beginning, all together. One, two, ready, go. Awesome. 
awesome. Hopefully you just played that with me. Um, really quick note, if when we played that just now, if you were slowing down or you had to stop or you were a little confused about any of that song that we just played and you weren't able to stay with me, then that's okay. I want you to go back to last week's video and work on those top songs some more, all right? Just because I have a video that comes out every Monday doesn't mean that you have to skip ahead from whatever you are comfortable doing, whatever you've been working on, to start the new video. If you aren't quite ready for it, stay with whatever you've been doing, all right? Guys, this is all about progressing, all right? And baby steps are how we get better, baby steps. All right, it's not about trying to jump ahead and do something like further in the book that you're not ready for, because that's not gonna help you get better. That's just gonna make you frustrated, right? So it's all about baby steps, taking your time and just doing whatever's best for you, all right? But if you just played that song and you're like, yeah, I've got this, that was awesome, I feel good, then you're ready for these next couple songs that we're about to do. All right, here we go, 1.19. Beat Street Duet. Notice, it looks very strange, right? This song, guys, does not have a staff like our normal songs. Beat Street, because it is not meant to be played on your instrument. This is meant to be clapped. So, we are gonna clap. All right, if you'd like to, set your instrument down on its bell, baby baritones, you cannot set it on the bell. Actually, all of our baritones, you're gonna have to lay it all the way down or just put it across your lap. That's good too. All right, we just want it to be safe. We don't want anything to happen to those awesome instruments. Tubas though, you can set yours down on the bell. Okay, so Beat Street Duet. We're gonna start with the top. I'm gonna start with the top part. If it's your first time, you can clap with me on the top part or you can just go right to the B part and clap the B part while I clap the A part, all right? So, but if you'd like to, first time through, clap it with me. Second time through, like rewind the video and you clap the B part while I clap the A part, whichever you'd like to do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna count out loud. I would like you to count out loud with me. We're just gonna count to four for every measure. From the beginning, Beat Street. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. 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 Awesome. Hopefully, you were able to either stay with me on the A part, or you played the B part while I played the A part. Um, I wish that I could see that in person because that is the most fun about duets, hearing them together, right? Me just sitting here by myself clapping it is not nearly as exciting as hearing you play. All right, guys, look at the B part now. The B part, I'm gonna clap the B part. You can either clap with me on the B part, or you can clap the A part while I clap the B part. Totally up to you, whatever you wanna do. Or you can rewind it and do both. B part, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. 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 Awesome. Hopefully you stayed with me on that one too. All right, so let's look down at the next one. 1.20, duet like this. I think that's one of my favorite song titles for the whole book. Duet like this. All right, so this one, notice the rhythm in this song. The rhythm for A and B is exactly the same as the rhythm that we just clapped, right? It's the same thing. So we should already know the rhythm. We're just going to add different notes that we'll play on our instrument to that rhythm, all right? So this is a good time before I've picked up my instrument. Let's review our rhythms really quick. So the rhythms that we have learned so far in band, this is a whole note and it gets 
four beats. This is a half note and it gets two beats. And it doesn't matter if the line's going up or down, it's still a half note. Next, this is a quarter note and it gets one beat. Again, doesn't matter which way the line goes. This is a quarter rest and it gets one beat of silence. And our last two. This is a half rest and it gets two beats. Okay, a half rest, it kind of looks like Abraham Lincoln's top hat, right? You could draw a picture of Abraham Lincoln underneath. All right, so this half rest looks like a hat. Half rest looks like a hat. This is a whole rest and it gets four beats of silence. The way to remember this one is if you were to walk along this line, you'd fall into that hole. So a whole rest looks like a hole in the ground. All right, awesome. We will continue reviewing our rhythms because they are so important to learning how to read music. All right, let's pick up our instruments. We are going to play 1.20 duet like this, the A part. I'm going to start with the A part. If you'd like to play with me on the A part first time you play it, awesome. Um, and then eventually play the B part while I'm playing the A part, okay? So I'm going to play the A part this time. You pick. Are you playing the A part with me or are you going to play the B part? Totally up to you. <clears throat> from the beginning here we go let's give it a try and one two a part and <laughs> are so much fun and they're tough because on duets you have to be independent right you can't just listen to me and try to play the same note that I'm playing or even the same rhythm that I'm playing you have to trust yourself and be independent and play it out strong all right and that's why duets are so important to play and so great to play all right I'm gonna play the B part now um, the first time play it with me and then rewind this and you play the A part while I'm playing the B part all right here I'm playing the B part one to beginning air. We have one more song that we're going to do today. It is 1.21, Climbing Higher, and there's some exciting news with that. It's a new note. So, look at 1.21. I'm holding a baritone book right now. Um, tuba's yours doesn't look quite like this. Baritones. So, for both of you, though, it is called, our new note is called an E-flat, right? So, tubas, follow along in your books with what I'm showing you on the screen here. All right, so this is what the E flat for baritones looks like. Baritones, notice it's on a space. And if you count up from the bottom, we've got one, two, three. It's on the third space up from the bottom. That is where our E flat, when we want that E flat, that's where it always will be, right there, all right? Just like the B flat that we talked about before with that flat sign, this one that has that flat sign here too, that lowercase b, all right? so we call it an E flat. And so we need to call it an E flat because if we just say E, that's a different note, right? So that's why we always say B flat and we say E flat. Awesome. So notice it shows you what to do with your valves. First valve down, that is correct for 
tubas and baritones. We're gonna, your valve, or your fingerings are the same, right? So tubas and baritones, we're all using our first valve to play this E flat. So really quick, let's first focus on getting that first, that new E flat out. So we're gonna start actually with our first note that we've been working on like that we started with today, our low B flat. So we're gonna start with our lowest note and work our way up to the E flat, okay? So B flat first, no fingers, low B flat. Let's all play that together. Ready? And. Good, now we're gonna play our C, the next note up. C, play it and hold it. Good, now we're gonna go to our D. D, play it and hold it. And now one step higher, first valve, E flat. So this is the highest note we've learned so far. So I want you to make sure you think faster air, nice and firm, all right? You're gonna be using these muscles to get that higher note to come out, okay? Work on it, build up from low B flat up to the high E flat, all right? And keep listening, always listen to the sound that comes out of your instrument. All right, let's air band number 1.21 together. Say these notes with me. I'm gonna just do the first three measures with you and then you're gonna say the rest by yourself. Here we go. Um, beginning, air band, ready, and E flat, two, three, four, one, two, keep your finger down, and E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, one, two, now you say it, and one, two, Two, three, four. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, let's play it. If you need to pause it so you can go back and work on that, awesome. If not, let's try it. Here we go. All together from the beginning, number 1.21. Climbing higher. Two, ready, and... You just have to hold it out a little lo longer than normal to play that last note. Tubas, just do your best. If you can't hold it for five or six beats, it's okay. You guys have a pass. All right, guys, that's all that we have for today. I hope that you have an awesome week. Practice this stuff. Break it down into little tiny chunks. Um, play those duets with this video so that you can like play a duet with me. Um, but work on each line by itself right uh so focus especially on one point you can do the clapping 1.19 through 1.21 all right work on those rhythms work on that new note that we just learned all right guys i hope you have an awesome week happy practicing and i'll see you next monday bye